Okay guys, in this video we'll be discussing the derivative of the square root function. And please, if at the end of this video you enjoyed it, kindly do well to like this video and also subscribe to the channel so you get notifications when I upload new videos. Okay, if you have a function of this form, y equal to square root of any function u of x. This is a chain function, but it is a more of a square root function. The bigger function here is a square root function. And so you have another function inside. It could be just x, it could be another compound function inside, but the point is the square root. Whenever you have a square root, how do you differentiate that function? To better understand the derivative of this, we need to go into the derivative of the simplest square root function we can think of. Alright? And the simplest square root function you can think of is y equal to root x. So for us to effectively learn how to differentiate any square root function, we need to first of all learn how to differentiate this. There are different ways we can differentiate this function. So many ways we can differentiate this. But I want to talk about three ways we can differentiate this function. Alright. Oh, let's look at this. If I have y equal to root x, I can decide to square both sides, right? If I square both sides, y squared will be x. Right. To continue with this, I can decide to say that this means that x is equal to y squared. If y squared is equal to x, then x is also equal to y squared. And I can decide to differentiate x with respect to y instead of y with respect to x. So I can find dx dy. Differentiate x with respect to y. And if I do that, on the right hand side, I will have 2y. From this, I can flip this to find my dy dx. But I know this is definitely over 1. So my dy dx, if I flip this upside down, it means I'll flip the right hand side too. So this is 1 upon to y. Now I've gotten my dy dx. But here I have y and I want to rewrite this y to be in terms of x. Remember y is root x. So this will be 1 upon 2 root x. And this is the derivative of root x. Okay. Another way we can also tackle this is this. So let's say we've squared both sides and we have this. We are trying to look at another way we can do this. We can also differentiate this implicitly. Alright. In the last video, I talked about implicit differentiation. Alright. So if we differentiate this implicitly, we would have 2y, then dy, dx. Okay. And on the right hand side, if I differentiate this with respect to x, I have just 1. So if I make dy, dx subject, I would have 1 upon 2y. And this means 1 upon 2y. Remember, y is root x. I have 2 root x. So in this approach, I decided to go through the whole dy dx using implicit differentiation. But in the previous approach, I used dx dy. Okay, you see the difference now? This is Implicit dy dx. The previous example I used dx dy. So you can manipulate differentiation that way. I can perform dx dy and then invert it to get dy dx. The focus is to get dy dx at the end of the day and don't make mistake in your differentiation. Now let's look at the third way we can differentiate this. Let's come back to y equal to root x. I can also differentiate this by turning this to be x raised to power half. And definitely that's correct because the root of x is x to the power of half. Okay, and I can approach this as an algebraic differentiation, an algebraic function. So my dy dx can be algebraic differentiation of this. This power will come here to be half, then x half minus 1, right? And so this gives me half x. Half minus 1 is a negative half. And so this is half, x raised to power negative half is 1 upon x raised to power half. And so this is 1 upon 2, then 1 upon x raised to power half is the root of x. Let's turn it back to the third form, root of x. And so we can finalize this to be 1 upon 2 root x. 
In all the three methods of solving, we realize that the derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x. 1 over 2 root x. And that means that if you have y equal to root any variable, let's say u, that dy du would be 1 upon 2 root u. If I have y equal to root z, dy dz would be 1 upon 2 root z, and so on. So this gives us a basis to every other square root function. If you have y equal to root t, dy dx is 1 upon 2 root t, and so on. Alright guys, let's come back to this function, y equal to the square root of a function of x u of x. Okay guys, coming back to this, we've already talked a lot about chain derivative, chain differentiation, differentiation of chain function. Now, if I have y equal to root of another function inside u of x, to find my dy dx, what I simply need to do is to find the derivative of this inside function. If I differentiate the inside function, which is du dx, and then multiply by the derivative of every square root function. Remember, the derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x. So the derivative of root u will be 1 upon 2 root u of x. Because the u of x, this is a function of x, so I can write it in full. I can just decide to write it as u, or I can say u of x. They all mean the same thing. But I say just u, or u of x. I know u is a function of x, and that's correct. So this gives us the derivative of every square root function. Every square root function. Alright, so let's look at some examples to better understand what we are talking about. Alright guys, let's look at this practical example y equal to the root of x to power 3 plus 3 to power 2 plus 4x plus 6. And like we said, this is a chain function. That's a function inside a square root function. But the beauty of this is we already know the derivative of square root function. The root of x is 1 upon root x. So our target now is just to differentiate this inside function. But let's make this in full. Let's go the full process. First is to identify my inner function. My u is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 6. From this, I can rewrite my y to be the root of u. Okay, so the next step is to differentiate u with respect to x. This is a polynomial, algebraic differentiation. If I differentiate this, I have 3x squared. If I differentiate this, I have 6x, right? If I differentiate this, I have 4. That's beautiful. If I differentiate 6 is 0, so no point writing it there. The next step is to find dy du. Remember, the derivative of root x is 1 upon root x, right? 1 upon 2 root x, sorry. So the, the, the derivative of root u would be 1 upon 2 root u. And that's just it. We find our dy dx by multiplying these two derivatives. We would have dy dx to be the product of this and this. We can take this first, dy du times du dx. And that would be 1 upon 2 root u times 3x squared plus 6x plus 4. Okay, so if we multiply this, we have 3x squared plus 6x plus 4. More like this times 1 is this, upon 2 root u, this is 2 root, but let's replace the value of u. u is x to power 3 plus 3x to power 2 plus 4x plus 6. And this is our dy dx. Let's also look at another example to better understand how to differentiate a square root function. Okay guys. Let's look at this beautiful example here. Yeah? And in this example, we'll break it down into steps to make it very simple to understand. And please try to follow up this process of solving. Okay. Now, if I have this, the root of x plus 3 to power 3 
To differentiate this, I can break this down to different functions. Remember when we talked about chain rule? If you go to our video on chain rule, you'll see steps on differentiation using the chain rule. I can break this into bits of functions. Now, I can identify the innermost function. I will call it u. This is x plus 3. That has the function inside. But this function u is raised to power 3. I can call that one v to be u raised to power 3. If this is u and u is raised to power 3, we call it v, then y becomes the square root of v. That makes sense, right? y becomes the square root of v. So we can write y to be the square root of v. As long as we can break it down to this function, this uh, to the chains of functions, we can easily find our dy dx by simply differentiating each of these and multiplying all of this. So, if we find the u, the x, first let's find the u, the x here. If I differentiate this, I have just one, right? Okay, that's beautiful. If I differentiate v with respect to u, I will have 3u squared. And then the next step is to differentiate y with respect to v. So, I'll find dy dv. This square root function, simply 1 upon 2 root v. We should remember that the basics, if I want to differentiate root x, it is 1 upon 2 root x. So the derivative of root v is 1 upon 2 root v. So to find dy dx, we simply multiply this derivative. So dy dx simply becomes du dx times dv du times dy dv, dy dv. Our du dx is 1. Our dv du is 3u squared. Our dy dv is 1 upon 2 root v. Okay, if I simplify this, I will have 3u squared upon 2 root v. Okay, so let's simplify this. We need to keep all of this in terms of x, right? We need to keep u in terms of x and v in terms of x. So this will be 3. My u is x plus 3. So I have x plus 3 to power 2 divided by 2 root. My v is u to power 3. u to power 3. u to power 3. But my u itself is x plus 3. So this is x plus 3. And this would be my dy dx.